a country with a flight shall be And in the day or night will never be A sea where the ocean of the earth has Oh, this is just whatever
city of Chicago one cold winter day, a blizzard was a setting in, and a little boy was selling newspapers on the corner. He wasn't selling very many newspapers because all the people just seemed to be rushing by to their nice warm homes. So the little boy went up to a policeman and he said, Mister, can you tell me where a cold boy can find a warm place to spend the night? The policeman said, Yes, son. You see that big white house up there on the corner? You just go up to that house and knock on the door, and when they come to the door, you say, John 316, and they'll let you come in. So the little boy went up to the house and knocked on the door, and when the lady came to the door, he said, John 316, she said, come on in, son. She took him in and sat him down in an old split-bottom rocker in front of a great big old fireplace, and then she left the room. While the little boy was sitting there thinking, he thought to himself, John 3.16, I don't understand it, but it sure does make a cold boy warm. In a few minutes, the lady came back in and she said, Son, would you like something to eat? He said, Yes, ma'am, I can't remember when's the last time I had a good meal. So the lady took him into a room where she had prepared some of the finest foods you'd ever seen, laid it out on a great big table. The little boy sat down and started to enjoy that food, and he thought to himself, My, my, John 3.16, I don't understand it, but it sure does make a hungry boy full. Well, next the lady took him into a room where she had run a bathtub full of nice warm water. She said, Son, would you like to get a bath? He said, Yes, ma'am. I don't guess I've ever had a real bath in all my life, except when they wash out the hydrants down on the street. So as the little boy was sitting there in that bathtub soaking, he thought to himself, John 316, I don't understand it, but it sure does make a dirty boy clean. The next the lady came and took him upstairs to a bedroom where there was one of those great big feather beds. The little boy crawled up in that feather bed and snuggled down nice and warm, and the lady tucked him in and kissed him goodnight. And as she left the room and turned out the light, the little boy lay there in bed listening to that cold wind howling outside. He could see the snow coming down. And he thought about that box that he usually slept in back up in the alley. And how cold it got down there at night. And he thought how thankful he was to be in that nice warm bed. And then he thought to himself, John 316, I don't understand it, but it sure does make a tired boy rescue. Well, the next morning, the lady came in and took him down where he'd eaten the night before and fed him one of the finest breakfasts that he'd ever seen. And then she took him back into that same old fireplace and that same split-bottom rocker where he'd been the night before. And she sat down next to him and said, Son, do you understand John 3.16? He said, No, ma'am. Last night was the first time I'd ever heard of it when the policeman told me to use it. So she took her Bible and began to explain to him about Jesus. She read those words to him that he heard for the very first time in all of his life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And you know that little boy knelt in front of that old fireplace and gave his heart and life to Jesus. And then he thought to himself, my, my. John 3.16 I don't understand it but it sure does make a little lost boy feel safe You know, I'm here to tell you that I don't really understand John 3.16 myself to its fullest How God would send His Son into the world to die for me or how Jesus would agree to do such a thing as to bear the cross to Calvary but you know, when I called on Jesus and asked Him to forgive me of my sins, He wrote my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life, never more to be erased again. And you know, He can do the same thing for you today. If you're just in simple childlike faith, call out on the name of Jesus and just ask Him to save you and to be the Savior and Lord of your life. He'll do that for you. And if Jesus returns today, we'll all go home to be with Him forevermore.